This is chapter 2, key issue 2, where has the world's population increased? So this is specifically looking at demographic indicators. So there's natural increase rate, fertility, and mortality. So the learning goal would be that students would be able to define each of the demographic indicators in this section, understand the typical demographic patterns of these demographic indicators for MDCs and LDCs, and then be able to use them to predict the regional location of a country that has those demographic indicators. The concepts to know would be crude birth rate, crude death rate, natural increase rate, total fertility rate, infant mortality rate, life expectancy, doubling time, and demographic equations. So the crude birth rate is the total number of live births in a year for every 1,000 people alive in a society. Typically you can see it's very high in places like Africa and the Middle East and moderate in Latin America um, and then low in Europe, low in North America. Crude death rate, the total number of deaths in a year for every 1,000 people. And um, the highest you see is in Africa, largely due to AIDS, um, malaria, um, and interesting enough, um, a little bit higher in places like Russia and Northern Europe, uh, like in Germany and Poland and so forth. But it's fairly low throughout the entire world, not too high in any place. The natural increase rate is where you um, take the crude birth rate and you subtract the crude death rate, and this is how the population is growing naturally. And you can see places where it's very high natural increase rates um, is Africa, Middle East, um, places in Asia. Very low, it's in mostly in Europe, North America, Australia. The world average um, when this book was written was 1.2%. Currently in 2013, it's 1.1%. Typically high in Africa, negative in parts of Europe, and, and low in North America and Australia. So how do you compute the NIR? You subtract the crude birth rate minus the crude death rate. So for instance, let's say you have 40 over 1,000 would be your crude birth rate minus your 15 over 1,000 for your crude death rate, and you get 25 over 1,000. Now you need to make it a percent. So if you move the decimal one place to the left in your 1,000 to make it 100, you need to move the decimal one, left, one place left um, in between the 2 and the 5, and you have 2.5 over 100, which is 2.5%. Just a caution, if you ever get a number uh, for your NIR greater than 4%, then you probably forgot to mu move the decimal point. A 4% NIR is very, very high, very unusual. So if you get something like 29 or 8 or 7 or something like that, then you probably forgot to move the decimal. So check yourself with that because you want to make sure you get that right. All right, doubling time. That's the number of years needed to double the population, assuming that there is this constant rate of natural increase. Now, the higher the NIR, right, the faster the population is growing, well, then the less time it's going to take to double. So there's this inverse relationship. The higher the NIR, the shorter the doubling time. So... You don't need to memorize this entire chart, but you should memorize that if there's an NIR of 1%, then the doubling time will be 70 years. And then if given an NIR of a greater, higher number, like 2%, you'll know that the doubling time will be less than 70. And given a number, an NIR less than 1%, you know that the doubling time will be higher because it's growing slower, so it'll take longer for it, the population to double. Total fertility rate is the average number of children a woman would have during her childbearing years. 
and um, this is used to measure the crude birth rate. Um, at the writing of this book, 2.7% TFR was the worldwide average. It's now 2.4. And um, in writing this book, it was 6 in Africa, but currently it's a more about 4.5. Replacement fertility is where two people, a mom and a dad, have two kids. When the mom and dad die, the two kids grow up and replace the parents. So this will achieve zero population growth because two people are having two kids and they are basically replacing them. So the population, if you have a total fertility rate of two, then the population will achieve zero population growth rate. The reason why it's 2.1 is that not all kids grow up um, and die of old age. Sometimes kids um, you have accidents or, or die from death or from, <laughs> from diseases. So um, that's why the 2.1. But if you remember two people replace their parents, then that will be good enough. Infant mortality rate is the number of infant deaths. Those are um, babies um, one year old and uh, younger. Infant deaths per 1,000 live births. So an infant has to be born alive and then it will die within the first year. Now, this reflects a country's health care system, how, how well a country takes care of its babies. You see infant mortality rate tends to be high in places like Africa, in Asia, Middle East, parts of Latin America, and it tends to be much lower in places like Europe, North America, and Australia. Life expectancy, average number of years a person is expected to live from birth. And we typically see high numbers, higher than 70 in Western Europe, North America, Australia, and then very low numbers in places like Africa. So the demographic equation is the total population growth in a country when you take into account what's happening naturally, the natural increase rate, birth minus death, but then plus you add what's happening as far as migration. So people entering the country in migration, those are immigrants with an I, and minus people who are leaving the country, out migration, and that is emigrant with an E, as in like exit. So the total population growth, including natural increase rate and net migration, people coming and leaving the country, that will be the demographic equation. Now there's some trends. Typically, MDCs have a low crude birth rate, low natural increase rate, low total fertility rate, and high life expectancy. Um, in the opposite, LDCs tend to have a high crude birth rate, a high natural increase rate, and a high total fertility rate, but a low life expectancy. The only demographic indicator that does not follow the pattern um, for MDCs or LDCs typically is CDR, crude death rate, largely because all countries have gone through a, um, haven't gotten this, demographic transition stage two that is um, a drop in death rate because of medical advancement. Um, they're um, all over the world. Um, the diffusion of medical practices has occurred so that people don't tend to die um, as much from diseases as they did 100 years ago.